So here at the Australian Army Tank Museum in Pakapanyal, Victoria, about 200 or about 120 kilometres north of Melbourne. Um, and we're going to take a look at some of the variants of Matilda that are on static display um, here. So we already took a look at the uh, Matilda 2 in its standard configuration with a uh, two pounder um, uh, armour piercing um, gun mounted in the, uh, in the turret. And here we're going to see some of the variants that were employed by the Australian Army um, in the Pacific during, uh, during World War II. Um, here at the uh, here at Pakapanyal is um, it's, it's a military base that was established during World War One and it's currently home of the um, uh, Army uh, Army Tank School. So this is where we train our tankers. Um, so this is where um, Australian Army um, personnel come to learn how to deal with the Abrams M1A1 before they go on deployment to uh, to the north of Australia, where most of the um, uh, the tank uh, units are based these days. So here we have um, from the collection um, an example of the Matilda close support tank. So this one, rather than manning the two pounder gun, which had um, uh, an armor piercing round available only, this had a 75 millimeter howitzer that could fire a high explosive round. So in this case here, you've got a high explosive um, uh, round coming out of the main gun. You've also got the, uh, the bees and machine gun. So you've got a tank that's uh, more capable of supporting, uh, supporting infantry. Um, in an environment where it doesn't have to worry about dealing with um, with enemy armor, one of the details that's interesting to see here is you see these um, these guards that have been put on the front to protect the uh, tracks from uh, foliage in the jungle, and stop that foliage getting dragged into the running gear and and clogging up and and and, and fouling all the gear, which was a problem that um, that uh, the army noticed when they started to employ these vehicles in um, in uh, Southeast Asia. Over here we have another example. Of the Matilda, this one here is the uh, dozer version. So it's the standard Matilda um, with its um, uh, QF two pounder gun, but with uh, dozer blade attachment and all the hydraulics associated with um, using that uh, blade, which so it could be employed for uh, for clearing beaches after landings, for removing uh, enemy vehicles from the road, um, for um, making roads through the jungles, and um, and just generally clearing the uh, the undergrowth. Over here, we have another very interesting example of the Matilda that was developed. Um, here in Australia. This is the so-called Matilda Hedgehog, and it uses a um, naval um, uh, bomb um, launching system that's been mounted to the uh, rear of the vehicles. So this is a so-called Hedgehog um, uh, bomb launcher, so it launches a 63-pound um, uh, projectile um, with about um, uh, 40 pounds of high explosive in it um, in a howitzer-type uh, um, trajectory. Um, up to 200 metres towards the enemy. So you can imagine this tank approaching, enemy calls out that there's a, that there's a hard point, and suddenly that um, hard point sees 63-pound um, um, rounds um, being lobbed towards them. So very, um, very, very effective, I can imagine, in, uh, in jungle warfare. So that's another example of, the, uh, of one of the Matildas that was, um, that was used by the Australian Army. Um, here we have um, the Australian Army uh, version of the Matilda Frog. So this is a flamethrower version, which as you can imagine would have been very effective in the jungle for um, clearing out um, uh, pillboxes and also for just using in the jungle where there might be uh, infantry, uh, infantry hidden. Um, so this, um, this, uh, this flamethrower, along with its um, coaxially mounted uh, machine gun, was also employed to provide support for, for Australian infantry in the jungle. So again, Australia um, received about 400 Matildas out of its um, uh, out of the total production of that uh, that vehicle. Um, and so while it wasn't used um, for the duration of the war in uh, in Europe or or in the desert, it did see employment here in the um, in the uh, Pacific Theatre up until the um, up until the end of the uh, war with Australian forces, where we um, where we used the 400 Matildas that um, we were supplied to their. Um, to their utmost. So interesting to come here and see um, see some uh, iterations of um, of quite a famous tank that um, that uh, you may not have seen in um, in other museums. So um, yeah, come here to the Australian Army uh, uh, Tank Museum in Pakapanyal and um, take a look around.